Is your cat vomiting or showing signs of indigestion? Dr. Werber is here with his advice on how to handle your cat's tummy troubles. I'm Molly and this is Care Experts. Today we're talking about cat digestion with Dr. Jeff Werber, a practicing veterinarian for over 40 years. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Thanks Werber. for having me. <laughs> so if my cat is vomiting, how do I know if it's serious? When do I call a vet? So interestingly, when it comes to vomiting, it's one of the more common things we'll see in cats as far as gastrointestinal problems. And probably the most often overlooked is the simplest, and that is hairballs. And you know, I often hear from someone, well, I, he never vomits up hairball, so it can't be. So I, my recommendation is, first of all, look at the cat as a whole. If, don't focus on just the vomiting. Uh, still eating, can't wait for its next meal, still running and playing, right? If everything else is normal, most times that calf, cats have a problem, an, another disease that might cause vomiting, they might be showing other signs of illness. So it sounds like if you're unsure, just get in touch with your veterinarian. Absolutely. Okay, great. Um, so tell us, what are some human foods that could be good or bad for my cat? So cats, first of all, you know, let's, most importantly, cats are obligate carnivores, okay? You, they can't be an omnivore. You cannot make a cat a vegetarian, okay, or vegan. Uh, they need that animal meat. Uh, there is a certain amino acid called taurine essential for them, and their bodies cannot make it themselves. So it has to be in the diet. Meat is high in taurine. So that's, that, that's very important. Um, and uh, they also need more protein. So, you know, a dog can survive on, you know, even less than 20%, sometimes 12 to 15% protein. Cats need pretty minimum of 20, usually I say 24 to 35% protein. And in cats that are very active, younger cats might even up to 40% protein in their diets. So therefore the meat is essential. Um, so as far as foods, cats love to, they, they love meat. So a little chicken, cut a piece of chicken, be, beware of too much fat, though they also get more fats in their diet. But, um, and table scraps are okay to a degree. Uh, you, they, they will often munch on anything. Fish is great. I mean, my, my cats, I have five, um, love salmon. If I'm eating cod, just avoid some of the seasonings because that might be tough on them. Anything they shouldn't have of human food. Well, again, things like the, the fatty foods, too much fat is, is not good. As far as like some of the toxins, um, like be careful with certain toxins around the house. It may not be food related, but let's take lilies, for example. Uh, if you have lilies in the house and you have them in a vase and then you put that little plate under the vase, even the water from those lilies that was used to, to, to water them, that water that settles down at the bottom, that could literally even be a killer to cats. And how do I tell if my cat has a food allergy or some sort of allergy? How, how does that go about being diagnosed? When it comes to allergies, um, it, it's interesting. Dogs with food allergy will have certain symptoms. Usually it's feet, chewing and licking insensibly at their front feet, ears, rubbing their faces. It's much more difficult. Cats in general, when it comes to allergies, are much more difficult to, to determine what the allergen is. But with a cat, usually it's gonna be more GI, gastrointestinal, maybe vomiting, maybe diarrhea. How would I tell if my cat did ingest something toxic? What are the signs? Well, first of all, if there is a toxic ingestion, it's going to be, depending on what it is, a very sick cat, vomiting, high on the list, diarrhea, um, and if, if all of a sudden becomes severely lethargic, mm -hmm. has trouble breathing, uh, it's, it's almost anything that, that is abnormal. So you mentioned uh, lilies. Are there any other plants that are very toxic to cats? There are a number of, you know, there, there are certain ferns. Um, uh, sago palm is very dangerous. Lilies, tremendously. And with cats, a lot of the, the toxins may not be like a toxic, it could be very irritative, to the GI tract. Uh -huh. So there's some things they can eat in too much volume. And remember, cats like to chew on fiber stuff. They'll, 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 eat, they'll eat grass. They love to, they love things that are stringy. You know, they'll, they'll be you know, chewing on pillows. They'll be opening, uh, they'll get into a garbage and, 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 uh, and get the used dental floss, the yarn, you know, the cutest thing, cats are always playing with the yarn. Oh yes. So they can actually ingest things that'll cause a GI irritation, gastrointestinal irritation, or what's worse, is what we call a string foreign body effect. And we will be right back after this brief message from Care Credit. Thanks to Care Credit, I can take care of my best friend. Thanks to Care Credit, I can smile again. Thanks to Care Credit, I can be confident. 
Thanks to Care Credit, I can prepare for veterinary care. I can take care of myself again. I can be myself again. I can plan for Cooper's care. I can take care of my pug family. I can. I can. I can. I can have peace of mind. Welcome back and let's continue our discussion on cat digestion. What if my cat is gassy? What causes that? Is there, does food cause that? What's the um, source of that? Usually when it comes to that type of problem, uh, as with people, as with dogs, uh, having an owner of a few French Bulldogs, I can tell you, yep. they can clear a room. <laughs> um, then uh, cats also, it, it's going to be something often diet related. What if my cat's constipated? Um, what do I do? I come to the vet. What could have caused that? What, what should I do? When it comes to constipation, there are two real issues, really. There's constipation, and more commonly in cats, is obstipation. All right, so one is just a, a, a straining to defecate. That's constipation. Obstipation is where it's actually, it's blocked. And so these cats need to be cleaned out. Uh, definitely need to be seen by a veterinarian. Uh, an x-ray clearly will show this colon where, you know, it, it looks like a racehorse. It doesn't look like a cat. Full, full of, 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 of feces. How many days, hours do you wait till you contact your vet? Well, you, you'll see a cat going into a litter box, mm -hmm. okay? And, and oftentimes, by the way, it's difficult to tell if they start vocalizing, is it because of having a blocked urethra, which is very dangerous, a blocked cat, especially in males, or are they just having a, 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 some sort of constipation, obstipation? Uh, so uh, if, it, if you know your cat's regular, and if your cat's going defecating once a day and all of a sudden goes one, two days without, but going to the litter box and hitting and, and meowing sometimes, then it's time to see your vet. Let's switch topics really quick to catnip. Okay. <laughs> what is it? What does it do to our cats? Well, catnip is like, it's like a drug. It's, it's, it comes from a, a catnip plant. Uh, it, it, it's like a, a, it, it's a, it's an upper, if you will. It's a, not, not every cat. Some cats care less. Um, cats seem to be attracted to it. If you have one such cat, I think it's a great training tool. Yeah. Maybe a way to keep them off your furniture too. Say, Hey, come over here. <laughs> right, exactly. catnip is. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So can my cat be a vegetarian? Absolutely not. A cat cannot be a vegetarian. That is very important to note. Uh, cats are unlike dogs. Cats are obligate carnivores. What if my cat were by some chance to get into fertilizer or some sort of poison? What do you do? Well, for one thing, uh, you, you really can't make a cat vomit. Where are there some things you can do at home to make a dog vomit? You cannot do it with a cat. So it's a matter of uh, taking them to a veterinarian if you know they ate something potentially toxic and then getting treatment, uh, gastroprotectants to try to minimize the absorption. So see your vet immediately your vet. if you think your cat's ingested right. some something, sort of poison or something like that. Correct. So in these types of situations where patients may be hesitant to bring their pet in because of financial concerns, do you offer any um, financial assistance at your practice? You know, for, as far as financing options, yes, of course. Um, uh, my clients love care credit, for example. It's great for us as a veterinarian, but having a care credit, that helps me help them. And helps the pet, which and is what we're all here for. Thank you so much, Dr. Werber. Thank so you. now it's time for... Um, a few rapid fire questions we okay. call myth or Ooh, fact. Okay. <laughs> you ready for this uh, one? Sure. <laughs> okay, myth or fact, not all cats react to catnip. That is a fact. Not all cats do. Um, many of them do, fortunately. I said I have five. Three of them go bonkers, but uh, not all of them. And it's great if they do because it's great to use catnip as a training tool, as a getting good behavior tool. Uh, so if they're overweight and they love it, you can put it on toys. They can run around. It's very hard to get a cat to lose weight. So uh, anyway, but uh, not all cats do respond. Okay, fantastic. Next question, myth or fact. Cats are carnivores, so they need meat. That is a fact, absolute fact. And I go crazy when people want to anthropomorphize and say they want to make their cat a vegetarian. You cannot. <laughs> cats thrive on animal protein. They need high protein, higher protein than dogs in their diets. And the only way to get it uh, and to get the taurine, because uh, they can't make their own, so they have to have it in the food and meats have and fish, any kind of animal protein has the, uh, has the taurine and cats do need it. They're obligate carnivores. Okay. 
Copy that. So you ready for number three? I am. Myth or fact, cats can chew on any house plant they want because they're the boss. That is a myth. It's a 100% myth. Cats cannot chew on every plant. And some plants are toxic. We talk lilies, for example. Uh, lilies, not only toxic, deadly. Even the water from the vase can be deadly to cats. Um, sago palm, potentially deadly. And other things that they would eat, for example, we talk about poinsettia and certain flowers, uh, they, they may not be toxic, but they could be very much irritative to the intestinal tract, to the stomach and the intestine. So therefore, there are many plants you want to stay away from. Speak to your veterinarian, go online, do your homework. My recommendation is any of these bad plants, don't have them in the house because it's very hard to tell a cat who love to chew on leaves, not to chew on leaves. Thank you so much. Thank you for the clarity, Dr. Werber, and thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. All of our featured care experts recommend and accept the Care Credit credit card, which is accepted at hundreds of thousands of provider locations nationwide. Visit carecredit.com for more information.